Have you ever wondered what the Vesper theory is? Well, let's begin by defining what Vesper stands for. Valence shell electron pair repulsion. Now let's define the Vesper formula, AXE. A stands for the number of central atoms, X equals the number of sigma bonds, and E equals the number of lone pairs. Now let's begin an example with sulfite. And let's find the Vesper formula for this molecule. As shown in the Lewis structure, we can see that there are three sigma bonds and a pair of unsure electrons. Notice how we write the number of pairs and not the individual number of electrons. The Vesper formula for sulfite is AX3E1. However, the preferred way is AX3E, which means the same thing. Let's do another example with carbonate. Based on the Lewis structure, we can see that there's double bonds, but that doesn't mean that the subscript of X is 4 because remember we're counting the number of sigma bonds, not individual bonds. So it will be AX3E0. Let's define the Vesper form for beryllium chloride. Since there is two sigma bonds in one lone pairs, it will be AX2. With a bond angle of 180, and a, the Vesper formula is AX2. This shape is called a linear shape. Now we have boron trifluoride with the Vesper formula of AX3 and a bond angle of 120 degrees. Its shape is a trigonal planar. Now we have the water molecule. We see that the bent shape is due to the electrons pushing on the hydrogen bonds a bit closer, making the molecule bent. Since both electrons repel each other, this bond angle is approximately 109.5 degrees. And the best performance is AX2E2. Now we have methane with a best performance AX4 and its bond angle is 109.5 degrees. Now this shape is of this molecule is a tetrahedral. Ammonia has a shape that's called a trigonal pyramidal. It's approximately 109.5 degrees because the lone pairs are pushing on the hydrogen atoms closer. Now we have the phosphorus trichloride with a vesicular form of AX5 with three different bond angles. 90 degrees, 120 degrees, and 180 degrees. The shape is a trigonal bipyramidal. Sulfur tetrachloride has a vesicular formula of AX4E with a bond angle approximately 90 degrees, 120, and 180 degrees due to the lone pairs as well pushing on the fluorine atom, creating a shape of a seesaw. Chlorine trifluoride has a Vesper formula of AX3E2. As you can tell, the two lone pairs are also pushing on the chlorine atoms, creating a T-shape, with bond angles approximately 90 and 180. Sulfur hexafluoride has a Vesper formula of AX6, a bond angle of 90 and 180, with the shape of an octahedron. Our next example is fluorine pentafluoride, which has a bond angle of approximately 90 degrees and approximately 180 degrees. The Vesper formula of AX5E1 shape is a pyramidal. Bromine pentafluoride has a bond angle of approximately 90 degrees and approximately 180 degrees. The Vesper formula is AX5E1 and the shape is the square pyramidal. And last but not least, we have xenon tetrafluoride, which has the Vesper formula of AX4E2 with bond angles of 90 degrees and 180 degrees. The shape is a square planar. And that's it, folks. Thanks for watching.